Yeah. You try. I'll try. Um, never mind the top four. It's not even guaranteed about the top six yet. I want to be in Europe next year. Exactly. So what would I could consider? It's about what we what we get. I don't know where we will end up. I don't know what I what I know. Um, we have to go through this. So that's it. That's I know. And then there will be a new start naturally because a new season. So then we will see what chances we make. Blah blah blah. And um, it will be a new start next year, one hundred percent. But until then, we have to go through this, and that's a super, that's a massive challenge. Obviously, in this world, it was not, it was not easy 20 years ago. Nowadays, it's, it's close to impossible. So, if we, imagine we lose the next 10 games, and I would still sit here and say, okay, next season we we turn around or whatever. Not really to believe, to be honest. But here at Liverpool, um, theoretically, it could happen. So we have. If you really want to go through this, we have to accept the things that happened afterwards. Before, we have to demand, we have to ask for, we have to go for, we have really to go with all we have. And that's my job to offer that with the boys. And then we get a result or not, we will see. Um, but I think we have, this club has a chance to go through this in a classy way. That's how it is. It's like with the respect and all these kind of things. And I said last week, I, I hate the fact that I have to rely on what we did in the past and I couldn't care less what we did in the past, honestly. So, but because we cannot ignore the past as well, it's not like this, I don't want to forget it and stuff like this. So, but if we are, if we go through this together, we can have a massive benefit next year. We can have, not guaranteed, but a good chance. So the lower we finish the season, the easier it will be to improve from there. Is it then enough? I don't know, but it's not about that in the moment. But we cannot care about top six, top four, whatever. We have to care about the next game. We have to win a game, win another one, win another one, and we are capable of doing that. In the moment when we find a way to, to bring our best performance on the pitch again, in that moment things can change. But that didn't happen yet, or if, then only in moments for games. In this season, we won our never to do highest results in our history, um, uh, nine nil and seven nil. But obviously, uh, that's what makes it even more strange to be one of us and honest. So we, it's like still hidden somewhere there, and we have to let it out again, definitely. And that's again next chance for us, Arsenal. Nothing to do with where we will end the season. Just to do with people are coming. Have a lot of expectations, rightly so. Want to help? Thanks for that. Put in a proper atmosphere, and we have to put in a proper atmosphere on the pitch and a proper performance, and then let's go from there. But um, how we all said, it's just work, um, and that's what we have to put in. Yeah, can you mention the progress that Arsenal made this season with the stability and the kind of smart recruitments and sticking by Mikel Arteta? Can they be almost used as, as evidence or, or proof for yourself for next season that with a bit of smart recruitment here and there, you know, the stability of, of you being yeah, the difference is the difference is whatever we will do next year will never be enough for, from your point of view, from people's point of view, probably because it's now that I laughed now after the year we play here, it's like we play the season, it's like it could send pretty much all of us and then mixing you through. That's I, I just, for some people, let me say like this. But yes, with smart recruitment, we could we could, we will improve definitely. That's a plan for recruitment, and in that moment, this the whole thing. We all it's. I, I, Again, it's a moment of one of these moments where I'm really, it's really not good that I'm not native because I can't explain it better in English. It's just, it's like you you get in this kind of world when I'm not sure you and it sucks you in that direction. And all of a sudden, you know, where are we? So that's a little bit the case. But that doesn't mean in the moment you get out, it's clear again. It clears up again. It's not that big. I'm not a worse manager than last year. Definitely not. That doesn't mean that the outcome is good enough, not at all, but I'm not worse. And the players are not worse players, they just play worse. So that's definitely the case. means um, we have not changed 24 positions and we say, okay, poof, and from here we go. Not even 10 or whatever, it's just we have to make changes, smart 
changes and then we go again but that's for next year I'm really 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 in the moment um, we have time we have other moments where we think about what happens next year but this is not the moment it brought focus on him he was one of six but it brought focus on him Yeah, not as as good or consistent as he used to be, like pretty much all of uh, of the boys. They were like as good and as consistent as they used to. That's the case. That's for Trent the same. So there's a it's no difference. We expect him now to say he plays a world class season and I leave him out anyway. So it makes no sense. So um, no, nobody nobody performed on the level we saw. On a level we know they can. <coughs> In moments, yes, of course. Great games, fantastic games, super situations, all of these, but consistently, nobody. So, means him, not as well. Well done. Yeah, we want to some base and then back.